Hey guys, welcome back. Today's interesting topic is about half adder. So before going to half adder, can you please click that subscribe button below so that it will help me a lot to produce more interesting topics for you. So thanks for subscribing. So let us go into half adder. So half adder is an arithmetic circuit which is used to add two binary inputs. Using half adder, we can add only two single bits. So here A is a single bit, B is a single bit. So we'll get the output as sum and carry. So now let us look how to design an half adder. So let's go into the functionality of it. Since we know that A and B are two single bit inputs, we will get output as sum and carry. So sum and carry are the outputs a and b are single bit inputs why i'm referring single bit is because that's the where the key role of half adder plays since a and b are two single bit inputs what are the possible uh, what are the possible values of a and b can be so what are the combinations so a can be zero b can be zero so a can be one b can be zero a can be zero b can be one and A can be 1 and B can be 1. So these are the possible combinations which we will get from a two single bits. So don't forget this, okay? So now we will add them and check what will be the sum and carry. So now we'll add A and B. So 0 plus 0 is 0. So sum is 0, carry is 0, okay? Now we will add a 1 0 so 1 0 is 1 and carry is 0 so a and b once again 0 1 so sum is 1 carry is 0 so now here 1 plus 1 now I'll show you a small simple technique how to remember 1 plus 1 so I want you to give the answer what's the 1 plus 1 in decimal so 1 plus 1 in decimal is 2 now this is in decimal, so base is 10. Now we need to convert into binary. So if we convert into binary, so divided it by 2. So 2 divided by 2, it's 1 to 0. So this is the binary form. So binary representation of 2 is 1, 0. Substitute this 1, 0 in this. So what we will get is, so we'll get the value as 0 and 1. But 1 is given as a carry for the next digit higher significant bit since there is no higher significant bit over here so it is given as a carry so now our state in the truth table will be like so sum is 0 and carry is 1 so this is our truth table for an half adder from this truth table we can design the half adder okay now let's go for a k map so this is the k map for sum so it is one one diagonally now what's the answer for it it's a b bar plus a bar b so this is a b bar and this is a bar b okay now let's go for a carry k map so from the k map of carry we can see that only one bit uh, is having one that is one one so 1, 1, when A and B are 1, then only it's 1. So the value of output is A, B. So by this, we can understand that we got two terms. Sum is equals to A, B bar plus A bar B, which is nothing but A, X or B. Okay, this is A, X or B. And carry is a simple AND gate. Now let's design a circuit for a half adder. So these are the two expressions, boolean expressions, which we got from our truth table. So sum is equals to A X or B. Sum equals to A X or B. So A and B, which will be X or now. So we will get what? Sum. Now this inputs, when added, we will get and carry so this is a half adder circuit 
So we require two gates. One is XOR and one is AN. So XOR is for sum and is for carry. So you got um, the design of a half adder now. So I want one question to be answered for you is that why a half adder is called a half adder? Uh, have you ever questioned this? Why a half adder is called a half adder? So let's dive into it. Why a half adder is called as half adder? Let us consider a simple example as shown here. So one plus one is zero and one is getting carried over here. Okay, now we will use a half adder for this one plus one and here, but the problem with the half adder is that half adder can add only two bits at a time. Understand this points, half adder can add only two bits at a time. It cannot add three bits. So here we have three bits. It need to add this. So for this, we need a half adder. Again, for this, we need a half adder. So then uh, to add this two bits, we need another half adder. So it requires many adders. Not a single adder is required for, for adding three bits. We need at least three adders. So this is incomplete. We are not able to complete the addition. It is not able to do the propagating the carry. That is the main reason half adder is called as a half adder. It's not able to do the full addition. So to get one more clear picture, I'm gonna give you one more example. So here, let us add this two uh, binary numbers. So one and one is zero and carry is one. So what does a half adder do? Half adder will neglect this carry. Half adder will not consider this carry. It will only add this two bits and give us the output as zero. But whereas the answer is not zero, zero, it should be one and one, uh, one and zero. The answer should be one and zero, but we are getting zero and zero because half adder neglects the carry. Half adder neglect, neglects the carry. So it is not doing the full addition we want to do. So it is doing only the half work. So it is called as half adder. So this is the main reason why a half adder is called as a half adder. So where is a half adder used? Half adder is used in ALUs. So mostly in ALUs where arithmetic logic units are used. So half adder is used and in other addition components. And even in, we can use half adders in multipliers so multipliers, we can use them, but it will be a complicated one using a half adder. So we go for full adders. So in half adders, and we also use a half adders in full adders also. So in other adders, we can use the uh, half adders. Okay. So, so this is about the half adders. So how the half adders are gonna be de designed. And so I have discussed about the half adders and the circuits. So if you like this video, please do subscribe because it will help me a lot um, because uh, it takes time and energy. Please do subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video.